Happy last week of no Denver Broncos football for the rest of 2022. And of course, the big news coming out of Broncos country this last week was quarterback Russell Wilson signing a contract extension that will keep him in the Mile High City through the 2028 season. On Friday, the Broncos organization held a press conference for Russell Wilson to discuss his new deal, and general manager George Payton was nothing short of excited to introduce the situation to Broncos country. In an opening statement, Payton said, quote, This is a great moment for Russell and his beautiful family. Certainly, congratulations to them. I think all of us would agree that this is a great moment for our football team. You have gotten to know Russ a little bit. He's all about winning and his teammates first and foremost. I believe this deal is a win-win for everyone. This allows us to continue building and maintaining a championship roster. Head coach Nathaniel Hackett also addressed the media and had utmost gratitude for the front office and everyone that got this deal done. Hackett said, quote, all of you guys that I know have spent countless hours on this. I thank you because it's a great thing. Not only for me, but the coaching staff, the players, and everybody. Having the time that I've been able to be with Russell, and it's been quite a bit, it has been an absolute blast. We've had a lot of fun, and now it's time to get this season going. There's been a lot of action, but now we get the real action, which is the football season. I can't wait. Then Russell Wilson took the podium, and as you can imagine, he was nothing but grateful and honored to have this contract extension and to be able to address Broncos country. But one answer that he had to a question that really struck me as meaningful was when he was asked if he, quote, thinks about football all the time. To that, Wilson answered, it's a lifestyle, I think, of habits. I believe that winning habits, you can have winning habits and you can have losing ones. I have winning ones. I think that I've been surrounded around some amazing people along the way. I looked up to guys like Leon Washington and other great players. I had great teammates like Jimmy Graham, Robert Turbin, Bobby Wagner, an all-time great. Obviously, Metcalf, Tyler. Then I got to come here with some amazing guys like Justin Simmons and to watch him work every day. To watch a guy who I played with at Wisconsin, Melvin Gordon, who runs to the end zone after every rep is an amazing experience to just be able to be around. There are some all-time greats here. Obviously, you walk in the room and Atwater is sitting here. You got Peyton Manning and guys like John Elway in the building. It's a special thing, but I think more than anything else for me, I think that every morning I wake up, there is something to accomplish. That this is just to get 1% better every day. I think so many people think about these big gains and everything else. For me, I've been obsessed with that 1% to 3%. For me, if I can teach that, if I can help lead that, if I can help install that, If I can help inspire that, if I can help do that for my own internal self every single day, then I don't need motivation. I don't need outside motivation. It's already within. For me, when I wake up, people ask all the time, how do I do it? I say, how can I not? For me, every morning I wake up, I just have that vision and plan. Fortunately, I have some amazing people around me. Obviously, my performance team just to be able to help me because we've been traveling and moving. We have to keep the main thing. The main thing, that's your family. That's your faith. That's winning. Those are the three things I'm obsessed with. And with that, it is time Broncos country. The Denver Broncos kick off their season opener in Seattle next Monday night against the Seattle Seahawks. I'm Kim Becker here on Mile High Huddle. Make sure that you stay tuned for all your Denver Broncos news and updates.